up guys this is just 30 mac back with another vigor tutorial um you may notice if you watch the other one i'm wearing the same thing and that's because i'm recording this right after uh, a lot of this stuff i can record all in one session and then kind of put it out periodically which i think is gonna be really cool having scheduled videos to come out so if you watched the first one that uh, was uh if you haven't watched the first video it was a basic tutorial for the first time you log into vigor just kind of telling you about what you see when you log in your shelter Kind of how to interact with everything uh kind of a longer video but there's kind of a lot to go over when you first start this game so uh there's gonna be quite a few tutorials coming out for the basic uh beginners and then once we're done with all the basics i'll start going into intermediate and maybe some like tip, tips and tricks on how to get more kills type thing but this this video here is going to be a basic gun tutorial i know a lot of you guys are like i just want to shoot something i want to know how the guns work i want to know all that so that's what we're going to do today um, which the cool thing is like at your shelter so when you spawn in you'll be pretty much facing this way if you do a 180 and turn around you have your own shooting range everybody has it all these targets and scarecrows and stuff and things so I can do this whole tutorial right here at the shelter and it's great so first things first uh, you want to get a gun so if you know where to get your guns come over here go to your inventory or your stash and pick what gun you want to use now when you first start you're I think you have very very few guns now I am NOT sponsored by Vigor. they probably won't even see this video but I will say if you go to the crown store down here for 650 crowns or seven dollars 99 cents USD there is a gun package that gives you like five AKs five M21s uh, five par like it gives you a, a decent starting weapons stash type thing um, I bought that just because I know how hard it is to use the guns you first start with but um, that's just me and then you kind of build up guns pretty quick so with that being said I am gonna grab a gun that everyone starts with that is gonna be the Thompson the Thompson is it's actually not a bad gun at all it's got a good fire rate does good damage kicks a little bit but if you can learn how to handle it's pretty good so uh, I'm over here at the weapon stash. I grab the Thompson. Now the good thing about firing at your own firing range is you don't have to grab ammo. It gives you unlimited just so you can shoot and all that stuff. Um, another gun that you'll start with is the grease gun. So we'll go ahead and grab that. Um, and then uh, we'll come back for some other stuff later. So yeah, we've got our guns now. Um, it's gonna show you one on your back and one in your hand. Kind of a cool cosmetic, you know what guns you have, whatever. So as soon as you cross this yellow line, you'll actually be able to interact with your guns. So the first thing you're going to notice, down in the bottom right, there's no ammo in this weapon. Uh, to reload, you're going to hit your Y button. That's with every gun, whatever. Um, you're always going to want to reload. You can even reload twice. It's more realistic than most games. I reloaded twice right there, and it actually put another bullet because, if you think about it, one in the chamber clears one in the magazine, so... You can actually always double reload and get one more bullet, which is kind of a cool thing. Well, in most guns, like shotguns, does make sense, but yeah. So, uh, here's your firing range now. You, the first thing, um, reload. Always make sure your gun's reloaded. Uh, even when you go into an encounter, it might glitch, it might do something, whatever. If you pull out a gun, make sure it's reloaded. Uh, second tip, if you notice in the very bottom right, the most bottom right thing you can see on this screen that is it has a bunch of little bullets inside a box that tells you what kind of firing mode you're on so right now this gun's on full auto now if you hold down on, oh, almost dropped my controller. If you hold down on the directional pad which is is the arrows you know what hold on oh yeah if you hold down on the directional pad which is the arrows it'll change it now if you look down there in the bottom right oh god that's bright hold on you look in the bottom right you'll see now it's on single fire mode so um, really my best advice figure out what gun you like figure out what mode you like it on everybody's different uh, but there is single fire mode there is full auto mode so uh, to aim left trigger standard with most shooting games to shoot right trigger, standard with most shooting games and then reload is is why so that's the basics now um, I'm going to show the difference between full auto and single fire. Uh, full auto, put it on the chest of this really close sca uh, scarecrow. Hold it down. You see how the green crosshairs kind of spread. The longer you hold it, the more it spreads. 
and the harder it is to control. Um, when you're up close like that, it really doesn't matter. Even this distance, like, I mean, see, it's not that much further, and now I'm struggling to destroy the scarecrow. Uh, so full auto, uh, very close, like this one was. Um, full auto is pretty viable with any gun. Um, also, if you're shooting stuff, if you come to this little button right here and hold Y, it'll reset everything. So you can keep shooting scarecrows all day. We're gonna go ahead and reload. Now here's single fire mode. Just tap the trigger as fast as you can. You'll see the kick is way, way less. But it's also shooting way slow. So you're sacrificing rate of fire for accuracy. You know, that's how most games are. Now what I like to do, this is kind of a more intermediate tip. But I put everything on full auto because you never know if I'm sitting in the tent and I walk up and all of a sudden there's a guy like I want to spray that guy down like that. But even on full auto, you can still single tap to the trigger and be accurate. So, you know, do what you want. That's kind of a personal tip of mine, not really a, a basic tip. Personal tip, always full auto. Um, if they're farther and you need to accuracy, you know, you tap it. Now, the, the next thing you're going to have to figure out, this is also a preference thing. Um, if you hold the trigger, you'll notice it's just an over-the-shoulder third-person aim. If you click your right analog, so your aiming stick right here, if you're aiming and you click your right analog, you'll actually go into a first-person aim. Now, this is very useful with, obviously, snipers that have scopes because you're going to look through the scope. Um, it's also very useful on a lot of guns when people are sitting still. So like this, if this was a person and you sneak up behind them and they don't know, most guns in this game will be a one shot kill if you actually hit them in the head. Like almost every gun in this game, one shot kill in the head. So an iron sight, if someone's sitting still about at that distance, you know, an iron sight is going to give you a lot better chance of hitting them in the head than if I was aiming like this. So, aim in over the shoulder. If you want it first person, just click in your right analog stick and it will aim straight in like that. All right, next uh, next basic weapon uh, tutorial thing we're gonna go over is switching weapons. Um, you notice I have the grease gun on my back, Thompson in my hand. If you want to switch weapons, you will hold your R button, which for, for my personal um, verbiage, these are triggers, you're aiming and you're shooting, these are bumpers. This is what I call bumpers. So I'm gonna call it a bumper, but it's your R button. So if you wanna switch weapons, you gotta hold R, and then you'll use your right analog stick to choose what you want. So, so say, oops, I was, if I wanna switch to the grease gun, I'll highlight it and then I'll just let go of RB, or R. Hold it, choose it, let go. Hold it, choose it, let go. That's how you switch weapons. Uh, so we're switched over to the grease gun now. You'll notice every gun has different iron sights, which you know, makes this gun very unique. Different fire rates. Slower, but it doesn't kick as much. You know, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's weapon switching. RB, highlight it, let it go. RB, highlight it, let it go. And then same thing, single fire, auto fire. Pick whatever you want. Um, another uh, thing to note about uh, the weapons in the game. So if you're aiming, you'll notice the green lines, uh, how they're they're pretty far spread apart. We'll put them on the scarecrow's body. If you crouch, they get closer together. You see how much more accurate that is. And if you lay down, they actually touch in point accuracy. So uh, you fit, you know, for different circumstances and situations, you know. You're gonna want to lay down for some situations. You're gonna want to be crouching for some situations. And obviously, if you're running around and you run up on somebody, you're gonna be standing up. And you're, gonna, you know, you're gonna have to, you know, play to your personal ability. Honestly, every gunfight I get into, as soon as I see somebody, I crouch. I hit my A button and I crouch because I know it's gonna give me that much more accuracy, which is actually helps you win a lot of gunfights. Um, that'll be more in an intermediate tutorial, but your crosshair gets smaller the lower to the ground you get. So that's that's that basic tutorial. This next thing, I'm going to go into it basically, um, but 
This is something you're going to want to remember how to do and something you're going to want to learn how to get good with because it's, it's very vital to this game. So if I stand right here on the corner of this tent, you'll notice the camera's over my right shoulder. I can see really far to my right. I could see almost, I could see onto the firing range really, really far over there. But I'm standing right next to the door of this tent. Like I'll just show you, I'm right here and I can't see out the tent. This R bumper, the same one you use to change weapons. If you hold it, your weapon wheel comes up. Pick your gun, whatever you wanna do. If you tap it, it switches your shoulder. Now look, I can literally see outside the tent. If there's a guy standing right over there, you know, by that tree branch, if I'm on this view, I don't know he's there. If I tap RB and R, R and I'm looking over my left shoulder, I can see that guy. I can, you know, kind of get my cursor level and I can just peek out and boom. So that's, I'll go into like how you use it more in combat situations in a different tutorial. But get used to, when you first start, you can figure out just which shoulder you like looking over better. But then once you get into an encounter, like you're gonna wanna start using it to look around corners. So like if I'm right here, boom, right shoulder, I can see outside of that whole tent. I can see all the way up there. You can use it to your advantage big time. Come over here, I wanna see out the tent, boom. R trigger, I mean R bumper, you can see everything. So um, that's how you switch shoulders, very, very key thing to get good with in bigger it's going to make a world of a difference in the game. so i think that's going to be it for the basic gun tutorial um, i used these two guns because i believe this is these are two guns everybody starts with um showed you all the basics full auto uh single fire if you crouch your cursor gets smaller if you lay down it gets pinpoint um you know headshots always do more damage you figure out what what gun you like and what your playstyle is best also this is a real quick thing if you aim in and you see there's two crosshairs the one on the the one in the middle of the screen is where i'm actually aiming but because this pallet's in front of me that dark green one down you know kind of close to the gun that's where the bullets are actually gonna hit so like you can't you know if i'm trying to aim around this corner i know there's a guy on that tree so like technically i'd be aiming at him but you see my guns at the pole so it's actually going to show you where your bullets are going to hit. So that's kind of, it's kind of helpful when you're like camping for someone, waiting for them to come around the corner. You can aim, and then you can kind of, you know, you know where you're aiming. You peek out, no, whatever. So yeah, but yeah. So crouching, crosshair gets smaller. Uh, shoulder peeking, left shoulder, right shoulder with the R trigger to change a gun. Hold the R bumper. Sorry, R bumper for this. Hold the bumper. Change your weapon. Highlight it, let it go. Highlight it, let it go. Um, this firing range itself, hold this button, it'll reset everything. The scarecrows all day, get used to shooting. Uh, one more thing real quick, this is something you can just play around with. This little interaction, hold Y. Um, it'll show you every gun you have unlocked, and they actually all kind of have their own little challenges so you click on one it'll give you a timer i'm gonna show you a bunch of targets and then you can you, know, you can actually practice aiming at stuff and you get you can actually get uh challenges done with this you can aim down side of it you can really do it however you want where's the last one oh so yeah and then it gives you a medal i got bronze told you how much time you can retry it close it whatever um, but yeah, that's what that is. So you can use all, your, all the guns you have unlocked. Uh, but yeah, that is the basic guns slash weapons tutorial. Uh, if there's anything I missed, go ahead and leave it down in the comments. Uh, or catch me in a live stream. Let me know, hey, how do you do this? Hey, you forgot to talk about this. Uh, whatever the case is, let me know. And I'll uh, try to help you out or put it in the next video if I forgot something on this one. Uh, but other than that, uh, I hope I'll catch you on the next tutorial. Go ahead, subscribe, and uh, put the notifications on. That way, you can catch the next tutorial that comes out. The next tutorial, I believe, is going to be the first encounter tutorial. So we're actually going to get into a game of uh, Vigor, uh, surviving an encounter. I'm going to show you how to loot. I'm going to show you what kind of the symbols on the map stand for, and kind of all that basic stuff. So. Hopefully I'll catch you on the next one. If you enjoyed this one, go ahead and leave a thumbs up, and uh, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.